Welcome to Zen with Gwen Meditation Sessions. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn. This will be a visualization meditation, so I'll suggest to you a variety of images. Some may work for you, some may not. As always, please take what you like, leave what you don't, and make this work for you, whatever that means today. My hope is always that you leave better than you were before. So you might like to get into a seated position as is traditional, cross-legged, sitting on a cushion, uh, but honestly, whatever position means that you will stick to the practice, concentrate, and get some value out of it, that's fine. That is the right position for you. The idea around this practice is cultivating sattva. So this is a Sanskrit word that is usually described as meaning some kind of peace, balance, equanimity, often associated with the color white. So I hope that this practice helps you develop some kind of inner peace that you can then take into your everyday life. So you might like to use the images that I offer up, hold them in your mind, and use them as a metaphor during more turbulent times. Of course, we are all living in a turbulent time these days, so I'm sure there is something here of some use for you. It's also important to note that it's not always the most appropriate thing to do to be peaceful. There are times where it's beneficial to be more active or stable, and peace is only one quality that we can develop in ourselves. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and get started option here to close the eyes and turn our attention within. And if we take a moment to scan head to toe, inside and out, body, mind and spirit, you may already find some peaceful qualities within yourself in this present moment. And if nothing comes up, bringing to mind the last time you remember a sense of peace earlier today, yesterday, last week, or it may be a strong memory from a long time ago. Holding that event and that sense in your mind for a moment here, knowing that you already possess the quality of peace inside and out and what you focus on grows stronger keeping this thought of inner peace in your mind you may like to set an intention for our time together. Now let's take a moment to acknowledge that there is something other than peace in the world around you. In your day already, there may have been conflict or challenges. But also acknowledging that you've been able to carve out this moment in your day for peace.
Now imagine that you can turn this feeling of peace inside yourself right now all the way up. So maybe you're feeling peaceful at a 2 out of 10. Let's see if you can take it up closer to 10. Whatever those peaceful feelings are inside your body and mind already, imagine turning the dial and increasing them all the way up. What does this do to your breathing? The feeling of your clothing against your skin? your own interpretation of the environment you're in. Is it possible to imagine being more physically comfortable based on a feeling of inner peace? And the other way around as well. Is it possible to be more internally peaceful based on the fact that you are externally comfortable right now? without opening your eyes if they're closed, picture yourself in the space that you're in. But imagine that it's a beautifully white room with white furnishings, white curtains, a clear blue sky outside and bright sunlight gently coming in through the window. Everything about this image inspires health, and peace. Feeling that everything in this space is in complete balance. You may even like to see yourself like an overexposed photo. Everything in the room, including yourself, a little brighter, maybe even more washed out than usual. A white blush fills the room. And of course you may have another more favorite color that inspires peace within you. You may also choose to picture a force field around yourself, a bubble around you, again in any color you like, but a lighter color might serve you better. Knowing that most things can come through this force field, it's impossible to shut out everything in this life, but whatever comes through the force field doesn't bother you. Like the good witch in The Wizard of Oz, you can say to these things, be gone, you have no powers here. All the minor annoyances of the world pass through you. Stay with this image the bright white space and your force field for as long as you like. I'll now offer you various images from nature. Let's start by imagining a storm 
on a large body of water. And of course the wind whips across the surface of the water creating waves. The waves crash on the shore. But you rest peacefully beneath the waves in the deep blue unbothered by the storm above. You're aware of it and you notice everything that happens. Some of it may even have a slight effect on you. But through this, you can cultivate your own inner calm watching from a distance below the surface of the water. Imagining yourself in a noisy forest or humid jungle full of birds calling out to each other, maybe dangerous animals and bugs. Picturing yourself somewhere in the jungle, maybe walking through or up in the treetops in some sort of shelter. Noticing the cacophony of sounds coming from the wildlife within. And despite all the noise around you, are you able to quiet your mind, quiet your breath, and steady your heartbeat? Are you able to enjoy the beauty of the sounds around you? And you may not like them, in which case, maybe you can step back from your own experience of noise and just observe. We can imagine ourselves sitting in a giant fire, knowing that we can be completely unscorched by the flames around us, cool as a cucumber. You may prefer the image of walking across hot coals, staying focused knowing that you will make it to the end safely. We can bring to mind a hot, dry desert. The sun is so bright it's uncomfortable, and the sand is so hot, and yet despite this, picturing yourself with a cool attitude, 
unbothered by the heat. And can we imagine peace in the opposite scenario? A frozen wasteland in the middle of the night. So dark you can barely see a foot in front of your face. But with a warmth deep in your heart. And an inner light that shines through the dark. And let's finish with my personal favorite. I imagine myself sitting in meditation in the center of a tornado, the wind whipping around with a calm, peaceful look on my face, barely even aware of the slightest breeze. Not that I don't notice it, but that I don't let it get to me. We can focus on the feeling of heartbeat, breath, or noticing the patterns of our minds. And maybe it's not a tornado at all. Maybe we're sitting peacefully in the eye of the hurricane. Imagining that your inner peace has created this eye of the hurricane. A bubble of stillness and balance around you while at arm's length, the winds continue. Knowing that the situation may not change, but your own inner experience of it can. You may choose to stay with one image of yourself experiencing sattva. You might like to let your mind go from image to image. Or you may prefer to repeat a word, a phrase, or even a favorite song lyric that inspires balance, equanimity, calmness, and peacefulness within you. Often this sensation is described as the feeling of a sigh. So whatever it is here that helps you feel that <sighs> kind of feeling, bring it to mind and hold on to it knowing that in this practice we lay the blueprint that allows us to experience peace no matter how turbulent our daily life may be.
And of course, I encourage you to stay with this practice for as long as you like. When you're ready, of course, open your eyes, move around and stretch however feels good, and continue on with your day knowing that you've tucked a little piece of sattva inside your heart for later. Thank you so much for joining me here today. From my light to yours, namaste.